क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इट रीड्स अ पार्टिकल ऑफ मास एम कैन मूव इन अ फोर्स फील्ड पोटेंशियल एनर्जी यू वेरीज ऑन लोकेशन ऑफ द पार्टिकल अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस रिलेशन हेयर के ए एंड बी आर पॉजिटिव कॉन्स्टेंट्स वॉट कैन यू कंक्लूड अबाउट स्मॉल एम्पलीट्यूड ऑसोलेशन ऑफ द पार्टिकल सो दीज आर दिन वी नीड टू चूज द राइट ऑप्शन आउट ऑफ दम नो दिस इज द एनर्जी एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ द पार्टिकल डिपेंडेंट ऑन द लोकेशन एक्स वी नो द फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन द पार्टिकल इज डिफाइंड एज एफ इज इक्वल टू माइनस डी यू अपॉन डी एक्स सच अ फोर्स इज अ कंजर्वेटिव इन नेचर बिकॉज हेयर द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज बींग डिफाइंड नो लेट्स परफॉर्म दिस डी अपॉन डी एक्स विद माइनस साइन ऑन दिस यू सो वी कैन सब्सटीट्यूट दिस यू ओवर हेयर एंड दिस माइनस एंड माइनस विल कम प्लस एंड देन यू हैव दिस के आउट साइड and then we need to differentiate this uh, product so we can think of this is a first function this is a second function and apply the product rule so it goes like first function as such differentiation of the second function so when we differentiate it it's going to be twice x minus b in the bracket then plus uh, differentiation of the first function which will come as 2x minus a and the second function will remain as such from here we can take this two outside as a common so that becomes twice k moreover we can also take x minus a into x minus b as a common so x minus a x minus b can be taken outside inside you will find x minus a from here x minus b from there so that is going to be inside which can be collected as a twice x minus a minus b so force came out to be f is equal to twice k x minus a one bracket another bracket x minus b another bracket twice x minus within the bracket a plus b now this force uh, will change its direction dependent on x value or we can say if the force is positive that means it is in the positive x direction when this uh, f is negative that means it is in the negative x direction so we can use this uh, sign convention and let's say this is our x axis this is x equal to 0 or here also negative numbers uh, this force will become zero when x is equal to a so this point is important for us here the sign will be changing or the force will be changing its direction this force is also zero at x equal to b so this important point and this also becomes zero when x becomes a plus b by 2 that means this point we can think of uh, if the if the x value is less than a then you'll find this number is going to be negative this number is going to be negative this number is going to be negative all three negative will deliver a negative that means in this zone the force will be negative which means force will be pointing towards negative x direction when uh, x is between a and a plus b by 2 then you'll find this will be positive whereas these two terms are going to be negative which will make everything positive that means force will be pointing towards positive x direction similarly we can uh, draw the sign for x running between a plus b by 2 to b you will find uh, these two number x minus a will become positive and this last term will become positive this term will remain negative hence the force will remain negative that means it will be pointing towards negative x direction beyond b you can verify it's going to be pointing towards positive x direction so these are the arrows which are telling us direction of force and these directions are changing at these three locations because there are three factors you can see now you if if you are working along uh, about or close to this point a then you'll find if we disturb the particle in this direction towards left then the force will be acting towards the left and it will not be restoring in nature so it cannot oscillate about point a even though you take this in the positive direction so this force will take it away so at x equal to a restoring nature force is not available similarly x equal to b around this you'll find uh, restoring nature force is not available if you shift the particle towards right it will move for, uh, further towards right similarly in the leftward direction however x is equal to a plus b by 2 this location in this location you'll find this is going to be mean position force is going to be zero 
and if we shift particle slightly towards right the force will be bringing it back to the mean position and if you are trying to shift the particle towards left then the force will again restore it to the mean position so here restoring force is acting since this force is restoring so particle can oscillate over here that means particle can oscillate about a single location and that location is x is equal to a plus b by 2 got it now we are required to have a small amplitude oscillation so if the particle is oscillating with a li little amplitude about this point x is equal to a plus b by 2 then you'll find it will be doing oscillation for sure and uh, to find out the time period or frequency or, or uh, related information we will we will say since this amplitude is small that means particles particles x coordinate that means location is very close to this number so we can say x is going to be close to a plus b by 2 but not exactly a plus b by 2 if it comes exactly at a by b by 2 then this becomes a mean position so for entire journey of oscillation we can take this approximation and now we can use this force expression with this approximation of position so x in this expression x minus a this x can be replaced as a plus b by 2 similarly for this factor x minus b x can be replaced as a plus b by 2 for this factor we are not going to replace x as a plus b by 2 otherwise it will become this zero force so this term will become th these two terms can be simplified so it will be like uh, b minus a by 2 and this will become a minus b by 2 so we can take the minus sign outside considering b is larger bigger than a so that will become um, uh, this is going to be like b minus a b minus a that means b minus a square there was by 2 that becomes 4 there was 2 we can take the 2 common out of it so that is uh, again 4 then this 4 and 4 getting cancelled out and our force comes out to be minus uh, k b minus a square within the bracket x minus something so this is telling us the mean position and this is going to tell us the uh, k factor in shm so this is going to be equation for shm and we know omega square for shm equation is defined as whatever this k you are getting effectively divided by m so this k effective is k b minus a square divided by m so angular frequency turn out to be b minus a under root k by m so finally we can say that c option matches perfectly which says it can oscillate about a single location with angular frequency b minus a within root k by m Hence is the correct response. Thank you.